Leopard 2A6 is a main combat tank that is a development of the Leopard 2A5. It's currently one of the greatest main battle tanks in the world after being significantly improved over its predecessor. Using knowledge gathered from the Balkan conflict, this combat was improved to improve soldier safety. It gave the Bundeswehr the first main combat tank with added mine protection in history. That's the current war situation. Hey there folks and welcome to Military Knowledge. Today we'll be discussing the Leopard 2A6. But before that, why not like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. An overview. Do you know that a larger L55 cannon, an auxiliary engine, better mine protection and air conditioning are all features of the Leopard 2A6? Also, the tank can function day and night because of advanced optics that include thermal imaging, magnification and a laser rangefinder. These features are present in even previous models. Despite their 55 ton weight, these tanks are made to move rapidly with a top speed of about 44 miles per hour. As the length of the conflict in Ukraine approaches a year, Kyiv is pressuring its western partners to give it new battle tanks for its conflict with Russian soldiers. The German-made Leopard 2 is the specific model that the Ukrainians are interested in. The approval. So, Germany has finally approved their transfer of Leopard tanks to Ukraine after NATO members and other European partners spent weeks pushing the country to do so, and experts say it's what Kyiv needs right now. Olaf Scholz, the Chancellor of Germany, announced that Berlin would send a battalion of 14 Leopard tanks to Ukraine, with more to follow. Other nations have hinted that they will follow suit. The contemporary tanks outperform some of the older Soviet-era tanks that have generally dominated the Ukrainian battlefield in terms of armor, sensor suite, and firepower. The highly desired tanks are the perfect ones to deploy to Ukraine at this time and would be militarily valuable, but do not anticipate them to be a silver bullet, according to one military expert. The most recent main battle tanks are essential for Ukraine, according to Alex Gatupaulos, Al Jazeera's defense analyst, if it hopes to breach Russian defenses and regain land that Russian forces had taken in the early stages of the assault. Tanks may be easily used in the southern region of Ukraine. Fortified bunkers and rows of trenches have been constructed by Russia to thwart Ukrainian advances in the region. A Ukrainian assault would move tanks and troops behind armored infantry vehicles like the Army Tank, German Mardar, and potentially the Moscow BMP-2. Leopard vs Abrams Tank Because the Leopard and the American Abrams are identical twins, the United States had been wary, just like Germany. While Washington highlighted the operational and maintenance difficulties Ukrainians may encounter if they were to obtain the Abrams, Berlin worried that the war would escalate. Both armored vehicles are regarded as cutting edge and are more potent than many Soviet-era tanks used by the Russians and the Ukrainian troops today. Which tank is ideal for Ukraine? So let us compare the two tanks to see. The engine is the primary distinction between both the Abrams and the Leopards. The Leopard 2 features a diesel-powered MTU MB873 engine, which is easier to maintain and more common in Europe, while the Abrams has a more powerful and complex turbine engine. Ukraine might need help managing the logistical infrastructure, such as getting spare parts, warehousing and general maintenance, given how infrequently the Abram tanks are deployed in Europe. The four-person tank will also require additional training for the advanced equipment. Why is the Leopard receiving so much attention? Before beginning with the benefits of the Leopard 2A6 for Ukraine, let us discuss why this tank is getting much more attention. As one of the toughest tanks in the entire globe, the Leopard 2 is utilized by 19 different countries. According to the German inventor Kraus Maffei Wegmann, it can go roughly 450 kilometers or 280 miles at a maximum velocity of 70 kilometers per hour and is simpler to operate than some others. It runs on readily available fuel, KMW. In addition, it includes a stabilized 120mm smooth tube gun that can precisely fire at targets up to 3,000 meters, nearly 2 miles away, as well as night vision capabilities. Although not all Leopard units are in deployable condition, KMW claims it has sold 3,500 components of the Leopard, making inventories and availability a primary appeal. Assuming you're liking what you're watching, why not consider subscribing to Military Knowledge so that you never miss out on an update? You can also share it with your friends and family. Benefits of the Leopard 2A6 and how will they modify the Ukrainian war scenario? The adage, patience is rewarded, is increasingly accurate in the context of Ukraine's conflict with Russia. The Leopard tank has altered the entire war picture and suddenly Ukraine appears to be dominating. 
This Leopard 2A6 tank has many benefits for Ukraine. Large ammunition. Massive ammunition up to 120mm weapons is accessible in NATO countries' stores. The 120mm tank cannon is widely used across the continent, and there are numerous reserves available that will last a very long period even under heavy use. The reason Ukraine will gain this is based on this. Most Modern Leopard the most advanced Leopard 2A6 tanks, equipped with jam protector communications, cooled thermal imaging sites, and an automatic monitoring system that enables us to gather as much information as possible on the opposition and our forces, are provided to Ukraine. A trustworthy auxiliary power plant ensures the usage of sensors. These tanks are currently among some of the finest on the planet for their class. Russian tanks of this caliber are non-existent, and the Leopard 2A6 outperforms the T-90M Proyev in every important way. Although other Leopards can be modified, they are not such advanced vehicles. Modern Network-Centric Warfare The Russian army needs to prepare for network-centric warfare, for which Leopard tanks are best suited for the fight. Tankers aboard Leopards will be able to locate and hit any targets on the battlefield within direct hitting range with the application of a sophisticated, effective tactical reconnaissance, drones, high-quality control, and interaction. These tanks have the potential to develop into truly protected information hubs, so it's important to give the crews the right amount of situational awareness. Undoubtedly, Ukraine is currently concentrating on the precise quantity of the tanks it might anticipate from its Western friends. The President, Volodymyr Zelensky, stated that speed and volume are now the most important factors. The speed at which our military is trained, how quickly tanks are supplied to Ukraine, and the amount of tank support. Why is there a demand for more Leopard tanks in Ukraine? Additional armor and firepower, according to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, will be essential in the upcoming months, whether to protect against a further significant Russian attack, or to break through Russian defenses and retake occupied territory. The more powerful tanks from member nations of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization would also include ammo. Fleets and ammo supplies have been exhausted on both sides of the conflict. According to the International Institute for Strategic Studies, a London-based think tank, the Ukrainian Army and Airborne Forces had 982 main combat tanks at the start of the conflict, while the Russian Army had 3,000. Russia had at least 1,642 casualties by January 24th, and Ukraine had 449. Why were Germany and the US apprehensive about sending tanks to Ukraine? Olaf Scholz, the Chancellor, stated that Germany would not act alone and that the country intended to avoid taking any action that could lead to an escalation of the conflict in Ukraine. There is also the historical issue. In 1941, Nazi Germany brutally invaded Russia under the command of tanks. Despite releasing additional powerful weapons valued at billions and billions of dollars, the US has been cautious. The US's ability to deliver in sufficient numbers to shift the balance of forces has increased pressure to act, if for no other reason than that. The US Army has 2,509 Abrams M1A1 and M1A2 tanks in use, with an additional 3,700 in storage, according to the IISS. The Leopard 2A6 will, in conclusion, be used as an offensive weapon in intense combat. In these tanks, people will perish and vehicles will be destroyed. Leopard 2 and comparable tanks might offer Ukraine the advantage, especially in light of the Russian troops' subpar tactical performance during the conflict. Before ending the video, there is a bonus fact about the Leopard tanks. More than 2,000 Leopard 2 tanks are thought to exist in Europe, according to researchers. According to the International Institute for Strategic Studies, more than half are available to be earlier than 2A4 and 2A5 types, including more than 200 that are kept in storage in Germany. We hope you guys have enjoyed learning about Ukraine and the Leopard Tank. If you have any opinions on this, please express them in the comment box below. We will welcome them with our open arms and it will boost everyone's knowledge. Remember to join our channel, Military Knowledge, by hitting that subscribe button and also dropping a like. Thank you so much for your time and we'll see you in the next video.